you can also add array of fields so first of all i'm going to define a new type user and here we have first name the first name the type of the first name is string i'm going to add the exclamation mark it means it is no nullable fields so you must need to provide the first name and last name and it is also no nullable field and here i'm going to do emails I'm going to set the multiple emails so each user can have multiple emails two or three and four and so on so here you can use email type and I'm going to wrap inside to the this array braces array brackets cool so we did not define the email type so I'm going to define the email type here and here we have email there is only one property and the type is string that's it so here we need to define the user and the type is user right now we don't have any resolver for the user so i'm going to define a new user resolver resolver it will a callback function and it will return the object and here what you need to do first name we need to define the first name first name is jane and you also need to define the last name i'm gonna choose do and jane can have multiple emails so e multiple emails will be an array and each array will be object and each object will have each object will have one property here we define the email jane at gmail.com so I'm, I'm gonna copy the same object again i'm gonna paste it here Jane can also have another email. This time we need to have the Yahoo email. That's it. So everything looks good. So I'm going to run the app. NPM run start. The application is running. Now let's test it from the browser. GraphQL. Localhost column 3000. GraphQL now what i need to do i need to find the user okay if you will see the query type query type and here we have the user type there is first name last name and emails i would like to fetch the first name i also want to fetch first name last name and emails emails is an array when you define all the email <laughs> incredible this is the user and each user will have two emails